Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. With special thanks to Revenant, Aloise, The Nerd in Warpaint, Dragon Matrix 7, Excelsior, Goatlieb, Kazorm, Lima, Nathan Welch Jr., Thomas Pietkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Wasteland 3, as we hit the ground running today. For those of you just joining us, I, um, I spent half an hour skulking around, disabling security devices and dodging guards last time around. Then I stood right next to a guard for like 20 seconds while I was trying to puzzle out what to do next. And um, yeah, he, he spotted me. It, it turns out he wasn't blind. So now we fight. Doll's definitely going down, but hopefully Rhett can draw enough fire that the rest of our squad can push up and get her back on her feet. Opening fire. Yep, saw that coming. Summoning mobile troops. Oh. Um. Wait. Wait. Summoning mobile troops. Search mode active. Are you serious? <laughs> um. Mobile troops deployed. Not gonna lie, I did not see this coming. We might be in trouble here. And we've got the security spawners. I feel like the uh, developers may have overcompensated here, but we're not dead, so we'll see how this goes. I mean, that cluster would be ideal for an area attack, but I think we're going to end up with too many friendlies mixed in. Well, that's one. Okay, okay. Special security protocols offline. Special security cell accessible. Yes, thank you. Rally. Did the Did that not go? The wall blocked it. Great. Okay, well, we've got a couple of rounds before Dahl bleeds out, so 
let's deal with this mess. Yep, that's not going to work. That's eh, fine. We'll just do this the old-fashioned way. two of them. That'll neutralize them as threats and give us more decoys on the field. And speaking of decoys, we'll also toss out a slicer dicer because why not? We've got like 20 of them. this might actually go pretty smoothly. Let's grab one of those turrets. Nicely done, November. That's the whole cluster, so let's push Shret up. Right, right, he's under multiple movement debuffs right now. That's fine, he can still be a roadblock. That should hopefully take some pressure off the pet pals, too. I am slightly worried about Waste Wolf. That's weird. Do the uh, turrets not work? Yeah, that's looking like they're bugged. Ow, I guess. Yeah, that's cool. I am happy to accept free loot and XP. Though it does make for a uh, somewhat anticlimactic fight.
I am hoping these things will start shooting at us at some point. Not because I want to get shot, but because I want this to actually be a fight. I mean, it could be that they burned their entire first turn moving because they were trying to get to the softer targets we have in back. They did tweak the combat AI to low-prioritize pets and deployables. Recon units damaged. Special security protocols offline. Special security cell accessible. All right, let's get Doll back on her feet. And we have to grab that um, flute from the lockers. That's where the objective marker is now. Welcome back, doll. Let's get you patched. Let's clear the hall. Yeah, I guess we should whittle those turrets down. And we'll try to get the Initiate to focus on Rat. Then the Pet Pals will finish him off.
Oh, well. Welcome to the party, Slicer Dicer. Glad you finally joined us. And the turrets are live. Not sure why they weren't firing earlier, but it appears they're low damage and flame based. Okay, okay. We're still not under much threat, but at least this is turning into a fight. Catastrophe. Structural integrity compromised. Yep, that'll happen. Well said, Clone Ranger. We need to grab that objective and shut down the generator. Otherwise, this fight's never gonna end. Bezor's skin flute. A bizarre wind instrument made out of sewn together flesh of indeterminable origin. It somehow manages to be even less appealing than regular bagpipes. Yeah, okay. We have that thing in our inventory. Anyone should be able to use it to crack open the generator room. So let's clear a path. Thank you, Bonkers. Your efforts are appreciated. Let's bring up the rest of the crew, and then we'll get Rhett on point as usual.
Slight change of plan. Let's get a shield on Bonkers. Really? Mobile turrets deployed. Recon unit at 50% structural integrity. Summoning replacement recon unit. Okay. Summoning mobile turret. This is a weird fight. I think we're just gonna rush the generator room and get this over with. Mobile turrets deployed. Okay, so I do want to push for the generator. I don't think we'll make it this turn, though. So let's thin out these recon bots. Because they're the ones doing the bulk of the enemy spawning. I mean, seriously, one recon bot can effectively spawn another recon bot and two turrets in a single turn. Which is ridiculous. Let's push for the door.
Yes, we should trim these turrets. Just in case they decide to start shooting again. We'll go ahead and grab that last recon bot. Nice. Giuseppe, heal thyself. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to wrap this up next turn. Last call. And they did, in fact, remember how to shoot. Good for them. I don't think we're actually getting experience points for those turrets anymore. Which is fine. I mean, otherwise it would be way too easy to exploit. Almost done. What? Access to security control room block. Please contact base support.
No, let's open it with someone else. Gross. Alright, we're done. Ring security protocols terminated. All security bots going offline. I will say, I am getting a little tired of uh, the objective-based battles. They clustered too many of them right next to each other. But on the bright side, we're now done with that, so we can explore at our leisure. Let's have a closer look at all the stuff we had to scoot by during the stealth segment. Lots of vendor trash, but almost no crafting ingredients. That's a bit contrived. We did get some stuff. I just feel like they're being a bit too stingy with those drop rates. box of grid squares brings back memories of your embarrassing rookie ranger days okay memory module this impossibly tiny memory chip runs at a cool 158 degrees celsius and has enough space to store at least two bitmaps it cost eight hundred thousand dollars yeah sounds about right Purple corn. Pass. Schrodinger's catfish. It's oddly filling, yet not filling at the same time. Cheyenne Mountain Dew. It'll do it to you, all right. It is interesting they would make three new items just for that one vending machine. It actually drives me kind of crazy, because if I have a unique consumable, I never want to use it, because I know I can't replace it. can o Carl. Is Carl the brand, the flavor, or what it's made out of? I'm gonna go with yes. Outsiders. Uh, did Sister Polyp send you? Are you here to rescue me? Because I've been waiting for a long time. Okay, and, uh... Who are you? My name's Brother Call. I'm with the Primordialists. Uh, Sister Polyp sent me to spy on the Nucleus. And I, uh... I got caught. I've been here ever since, and it's been a long time, and I'm kind of surprised, actually, that I haven't been rescued. 
sister Polyp said I was her number one spy. So you would think that would mean she'd send someone to look for me if I didn't come back, but uh, maybe that's you. Is it? Are you here for me? Does Sister Polyp miss me? Oh, I sure miss her. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she is just totally lost without you, man. Can't sleep, can't eat. She's a wreck. Oh man, I've got to get back to her then. I don't want her to worry about me. I mean, I'm sure she's being brave about it because she's so brave and strong, but she's probably having a hard time coping without me by her side day and night. I... sure. <laughs> Thank you, Lucia. Anyway, I have lots to report to her. Can you let me out of here so I can get back to her? Absolutely. Right away. Let's get you out of there, buddy. Oh, wow. Thanks. Sister Polyp is going to be so relieved. You guys are the best. I know. I know. We're pretty great. This is pretty mean, but come on, she tried to get the guy killed. Oh, wow. Thanks, you guys. I can't believe I'm free at last. As soon as I get the feeling back into my legs, I'm going to go back and see Sister Polyp and let her know I'm okay. See you back at the camp. Sure thing, buddy. We'll see you there. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. McGinty was right. No bars could hold him. But a worm turret stopped him cold. What a waste of a perfectly good name. I figure we should do our due diligence before we cut bees or loose. Just in case he's not what he seems. Um, uh, we had another person in a cell around here, right? Strontium? Let's track her down. Strontium, Strontium, wherefore art thou? Strontium. Let me out, you bastard. Now she name dropped the Valley of Titan earlier when we were sneaking around. But I guess she's done talking about that. On now. You're not one of us, and you're not primordialists either. What's going on here? How do you know? I'm glowing like a 20,000 watt bulb. How about you? You're a nucleist? That's right. Sister Strontium, if it's any business of yours. But what are you doing in the detention area? Only us nucleus are allowed to be here. Yeah, they're all on break. Or got broken. Something like that. So why'd they lock you up? That's between me and them. Now answer my question. What are you doing here? You know, just wandering around. Want us to let you out? What? It, no! I'm waiting for my trial so I can defend myself against these ridiculous charges. And turning in you outsiders will do wonders for my case. Sure, sure. Guards! Guards! Over here, there are strangers in the cell block! Help! Hmm. 
So how'd that work out for you? Holy detonation! They're back! Guards! Guards! I love Aventurarium too! What have you done? Why did you unlock that door? Now it'll look like I've been trying to escape! Go away! Leave me alone! Haven! Go away! Yeah, you have fun with that. I'm sure it'll all work out. I also noticed they uh, locked her up with a weapon. That just seems like poor planning. Oh, you came back. Thank you. Uh, but uh, who are you guys anyway? We're the Desert Rangers. Who are you? I'm a uh, Father Bezor of the Primordialists. And I'm kind of surprised to see unbelievers down here. Uh, you didn't, uh, you didn't kill your way here, did you? Like all those mutants just inside the entrance? Mutants like me? They're my flock. Uh, uh, I mean, my congregation. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they'd come rescue me, so I hope they're still uh, alive. Oh, sure, yeah, your guys, the uh, primordialists. I have not killed them. But we have killed a whole bunch of other people. Well, Deuterium and the Nucleists made a run for the Proteus, but uh, we, we chased them off. It's all fine. What? Uh, this is terrible! I mean, thank you for saving the Proteus, but I've got to get back there. Uh, did you kill Deuterium? No, I don't believe we've killed him yet. He went down an elevator, and his girlfriend's in the pool. Oh, it must have been the one to the energy storage facility, which means we're at an impasse again. He can't get the Proteus's code, and we can't get his, so neither of us can enter the chamber of the Holy Detonation. Ugh, it's so stupid. If Deuterium would just listen to reason, we could all share its warmth together. The rift between the Primordialists and the Nucleists could be healed. We were all family once, and I believe we can be again. I don't know how. I, I just... I just keep hoping for a miracle that the Holy Detonation will provide. Uh, anyway, if you're here to get me out, let's get started, because I need to get back. You know, Father Bezor, um, before we got here, Sister Polyp called and um, expressed a vested interest in you not making it out of here alive. Apparently she's become very taken with your old job. Oh, what? <laughs> no, she didn't. She would never say anything like that. You must have uh, misunderstood her. Uh, no, no, uh, I assure you, I, I asked her to spell it out for me in very exacting terms. There really wasn't much to misunderstand. Oh, there must have been. Sister Polyp is the best of us, the most truly devoted to oneness and sharing the glow. I love her. We all love her. Sheesh. When we get back to the camp, you'll see. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, that's us. We're very silly. We even have clowns. Why'd they grab you? <laughs> Well, every so often I come down into the lower levels to search for flesh tumors. They tend to wander, you see, and when frightened or agitated, they clump together and form colonies uh, like the one here in the detention level. I also wanted to see what sort of experiments the nucleus were performing down here, as I suspect their work distressed the tumors and caused them to cluster in the first place. I see. And what kind of experiments were they doing? They are blasting unmutated subjects with very high doses of blessed radiation, hoping to unlock the mysteries of ascension. <laughs> they believe that the right combination of devotion and radiation will transform them all into angels like Iridium. But the Holy Detonation works in mysterious ways. The radiation angels are a miracle, a, a gift. A deuterium is a fool to think that he or anyone else can become divine simply by flipping a switch, much though he might wish it. 
I guess that does explain all the feral drools. They think I can control the flesh tumors and demand it to know my secret. I suspect they want to use the poor things in their experiments. I tried to tell them I can only calm them a little, but they refuse to believe me. Deuterium has poisoned their minds with his hubris. <sighs> oh, brother, how did you lose your way? Yeah, about the um, tumor colonies. What's up with the one back at your campsite? Oh, yeah, that one has been baffling me. All the others have responded to the tune I taught you before. This one, no reaction. I'm guessing we just haven't found the right tune to calm it yet. If you know any songs, I'd give them a try. And if you do find one that works, well, you're welcome to whatever you find in that crate. Oh, good, because I certainly wouldn't want to take it without your permission. The tumor colony has been sticking to it for so long, <laughs> I've forgotten what's in there. I think it's safe to say we're not killing Father Bees, or he is uh, self-destructively naive, but otherwise harmless. Come on, Father, let's get you out of there. Oh, thank you. Uh, the console there opens the door. Just be careful which button you push. I got to look at the menu as they were throwing me in here, and there's a way to kill me without opening the cell. Also, an option to blast me with radiation. Oh, is there? Uh, the radiation option is actually kind of tempting, <laughs> uh, but becoming one with the glow would be selfish right now when they need me back at the camp. Uh, so you better just let me out. Thanks, friends. <laughs> Praise the glow. It's a miracle you're still alive. Welcome, user. Please enter your command. 1. Expose prisoner to HD-238 radiation test. 2. Terminate prisoner. 3. Release prisoner. 4. Exit. I think we'll go with number 3 if you don't mind. Executing. Release protocol. Please stand by. Oh, oh man. You guys. Thank you. May the glow reward you for what you have done. <sighs> Soon as I pull myself together, I'll get back to the camp and see what I can do about this situation with Deuterium. Walk in the light of the holy detonation. Yeah, he's gonna die. Leo Zillard action figure. Okay, wow. It includes the limited edition miniature nuclear reactor and signed schematics. Rad Adherent Shielding Field Crystal. A crystal from a force field generator. One of three components Goiter asks you to track down. says you disconnected the crystal from the force field generator. That's great. I, uh, couldn't see Father B's or Cell from here, so I hope you got him out okay. Anyway, that's it. You did it. You got all the pieces. Bring them all back to me, and I'll make the attachment that'll turn the siphon in the cooling pool chamber into a radiation angel containment device. Then you can get iridium under control. All right, then. See you soon. Goiter out. I think we uh, had some other sealed crates around here. One, maybe two more. Really? Are you serious? Do 
do we have to sit through that every time we open one of these crates? Because I was jamming on the space bar. Oh, infused uranium sprayer. Okay, at least the loot is uh, halfway decent. We are currently using a uranium sprayer, so an elite version of that would certainly be welcome. I believe we use the uh, nuclear rods for that, so we do have to be careful about rationing those. Rangers, this is Sister Polyp. I see you did not do as I hoped you would. This is disappointing. When Bezor returns to the camp, I will have to return to my corner, faceless again. But this will not be the end for me, Rangers. I promise you that. Yeah, I just feel terrible about ruining your murder plot. And Call's going to be so upset when we have to shoot you in the face. Sister Polyp out. I will feel bad if I have to kill Call. They did indeed make that unskippable. That is a bold decision, Wasteland 3. <sighs> Elite pre-war tack pants, reinforced shin guards, and thermal leggings means you'll be able to wade into just about anything, including both figurative and literal bullshit. I'm going to hold my tongue there. I mean, look, Wasteland 3, I am not upset. I'm just disappointed. Sometimes I just really wish I knew what you were thinking when it comes to these things you do. All right, folks. The last couple of videos ran a little long, so I think we'll cut this one slightly short just to balance things out. But uh, at this point, I do think that we've just got maybe one episode left, maybe two, because we've got all three components. We just need to wrangle Iridium, confront Deuterium, and then deal, I'm sure, with whatever shenanigans Sister Polyp has in store for us. Since we are coming up right on the end, I'm going to say, um, yeah, I think Deuterium is probably not as villainous as they're implying. I think Sister Polyp was really behind this whole thing. And uh, I'm going to guess that the Proteus is a puppet that she's somehow controlling. Or maybe I'm completely wrong and uh, it's something else entirely. I guess we'll find out. So we'll hit the pause button for now. And then we will pick up here next time as we catch up with Curie. See what's going on back at camp. And of course I'll also go back and loot all of those other various sealed containers. A bit moot now, but... Might as well see what's in them before we wrap things up. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Wasteland 3, the cult of holy detonation, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official social media feeds, or the official store pages. And if you'd like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things, or maybe even check out the Patreon. Links are in the description. I... sure.